Welcome back guys and let's go ahead and jump right into it. You've already seen the draft for this particular gameplay. This is the first game of Draft Champions and my first piece of competition man. I haven't played anyone online until playing this game so I was very eager and anxious to get it started and as you're going to see right out the gate he tries to test his luck. He throws it downfield and hit Berg. <laughs> Not Pittsburgh guys. Pickburg happens to him right out of the gate. Prince Amukamura definitely does his thing. So already, guys, you know we're feeling good. And you're going to see some good things and some not so good things in this video. And like I said, this was my first piece of competition, man. I haven't played anyone online until now. You know, I don't generally jump into the lobby, even though I will do that from time to time this year. And most of the time, I play online league games, you know, in my CFM, the Sim Standard Radio League, along with Azure Effect and Smitty as well. And look at this, guys. Great defense as I try to go deep. So I'm unsuccessful there. And, um, you know, we haven't gotten that going yet, so I've been playing the CPU. So this is my first piece of competition, man. And it felt good for the most part as you're looking at this gameplay. You know, I like how the gameplay didn't lag or anything. You know, very smooth. You know, it feels real smooth. So I have to tip my hat off to EA, you know, for the, the server stability. I know they've had a couple issues, um, you know, here in the early going, like all games. They've had some problems. But for the most part, man, I can, you know, reflect on my experience, and this was a great experience here. So, guys, take a look, man, and, and you know, if you didn't, look at this, look at this, look at this. I had to interrupt myself. I almost made a bad mistake right there, you know, with Andrew Luck trying to force it in there. I eat a sack right there. And if you missed the first video, down in the description, man, I have a link to the draft, so you can take a look at, you know, who I drafted on my team. And, you know, definitely, man, I'm, I'm going to be playing this mode, you know, Sim versus them. You know, I'm going to try to take my simulation style against the arcade style that, you know, most of us have seen in these type of modes. You know, and I said, again, not to disrespect the way anyone plays their game, but for the most part, you know, that's the type of game that you generally get in a mode like Mutt or this year's mode, Draft Champions, you know, my team and NBA 2K and all these type of, you know, games that actually have those type of uh, fantasy teams, if you will. So, like I said, man, this is a great... Oh, I'm going to almost come up with an interception right there. Again, had to interrupt myself. But this was a great opportunity, man, for me to... Look at me missing that tackle <laughs> with Elam. But this was a great opportunity, man, with Draft Champions to, you know, to go ahead and go on with this series. You know, the Sim versus them. So, like I said, again, the basis of that would be Sim gameplay versus them, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to run into some guys who play... A more tournament type of style all right so as you can see man it's three to zero right now and i take a shot deep unable to come up with the catch but he comes up with a pick off of the tip pass man that's great to see you know again you know it's all about that balance with the aggressive catch and look at my man right here picks it off brooks comes up with a huge interception i love how he read that play and the defense is is really tight man in this game you know, from what I'm noticing so far, and I can pop off the screen right here because as you can see early on, he's stuffing my run. You know, I don't have a lot of time to back up, uh, you know, drop back. But right here, I get lucky, man. I get T.Y. Hilton streaking. I did put a little outside arc on the ball, so he, you know, he's able to come up with the catch right there with that animation. I have seen that animation a couple times. You know, so again, it, it's all about the balance, you know, balancing the aggressive catch versus the success of the offense versus the defense you know me personally the way i play my play style i don't think it's overpowered but you know hey everyone is different so you know we'll see how that goes but for the most part man as you can see this is a very nice consistent game i love the feel of it so far you know the test to me always is when you play an opponent online that's always the testament of what the game is made of and what it feels like so definitely you know feeling good about it so far and this was a great defensive play right here by Clay Matthews, man. I should have used the passing mechanics and threw a little arc on that pass. I didn't. And as a result of that, I have to kick. And, you know, you see a couple instances here where, you know, you see a little bit of shifting from the, um, from the running backs, you know, when they're trying to get to their blocks. You know, I've addressed that with Clint as well. I want to, you know, see if we can get away from that. I understand it's a local motion issue. You know, they are aware of it. You know, I don't know if it's something that would be fixed in this year's product. But they're definitely well aware that, you know, they kind of shift in place sometimes depending on where they're trying to get to the block. 
you know, it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it will happen. So, you know, it's always good to point those things out. And I'm showing you guys this series because this guy decides to go into no huddle. So I want to show you, you know, what happens here. You know, I stay patient. I don't panic or anything like that. You know, I'm switching up my defense here and there. You know, I made a few mistakes by going into man. As you can see right here, and my guy's unable to get there, you know, makes a nice, you know, shoestring tackle, if you will, you know, to help us out there. But look what's going to happen, man. <laughs> once he allows me to set up, it's Pickburg once again, the Prince, Prince Amukamura. And the funny thing is, guys, if you remember, if you watch this draft, do you remember who was my number one pick? Darrell Revis. And Revis gets no action in this game. It's Prince Amukamara. Two interceptions. Eric Brooks comes up with the interception. And it's crazy, man. It's, it is crazy. At, I got arguably the best corner in the league. One of the best anyway. He doesn't get any reps. <laughs> so, as you can see, man, build your team the way you want to build it. This is the way I wanted to build my team. I wanted to make it defensive and a little bit of offense. And it's going to work out for me. So far, it is anyway. Let's continue to watch to see what happens. Well, look at this defense, man. Killer defense right there. He has nowhere to go. He gets sandwiched by three defenders. Nowhere to go, man. All he can do is just heave it up. You know, and he has Shannon Sharp on his team. So I'm definitely trying to bracket coverage him at times. Look at this. My man coming up with another sack right there. You know, we're just smothering him with defense, man. The defense wins championships. Fourth and 32. Again, we're able to get the ball back, and right now I'm going to catch him by surprise and pass it. You know, he's used to me running the ball, so in that scenario, I'm not going to do the obvious. I'm going to pass it, and then I'm going to try to get the first down on the ground, and we do. So, of course, now we're in prime position to at least go up by seven, but no, we're going to go up by six of those things. <laughs> Add six more points to that, kick the extra point, and it's going to be 14-3, to three, and that pretty much closed it out, guys. He didn't... You know, he couldn't do much more with his last round of down. So that's it. Don't want to make the video too long. But I enjoyed myself, man. So that was my first game. I'll bring you the second game as well, win or lose. And, hey, hope you enjoyed it, man. So like I said, this is going to be a mode that I'm definitely going to dibble and dabble in this year, man. You know, Sim versus them. Keep that name in your head because that's going to be the series that I'm going to bring to you guys. So it was fun. A lot of fun. All right, so like always, guys, leave your thoughts, leave your comments, and what the heck, click the like button. <laughs> All right, guys, like always, let me know what you think. Once again, guys, thanks for coming by. And if you want to interact with me live, head on over to Sim Standard Radio every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, along with Smitty and Azure Fact. The call-in number for the show is down in the description. Now, of course, for more content, go ahead and click the link above. And before you go, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, Lights out.